Not every teenager gets to talk to spirits or even get their own spirit animal. Arietta from Arietta of Spirits gets to do just that when she meets Arco and her whole world changes. Arietta of Spirits is a highly colourful pixel graphic narrative game about Spooky Island and its dark history. Arietta, our main character, with the help of her spirit friend Arco, helped the many restless spirits as well as defeat some roamers causing trouble in the spirit world along the way. The moment you start Arietta, you are thrown into a highly narrative story about Arietta and her family going to her grandma's house to say goodbye to grandma, who had died before the game began. One night into being into the house, and she is awoken by Arco, a spirit guide that needs her help to defeat the evil rumors that are inhabiting the island. You will find as soon as you start the combat side of the game, which happens rather quickly after Arietta's father gives you a wooden sword to fight during a strangely dangerous apple collection chore, that there is some similarity with old school Zelda games. You wander the woods and hack and slash your way through enemies that are knocked back when you strike them. The graphics gave me a Stardew Valley kind of vibe, with the characters in pixel form around the map with top-down look, and the text coming up next to some more fleshed out character designs. Unfortunately, much of the island consists of forests that aren't very distinctive from one another and it made it really hard for me to be able to know where I was going at the time. The writing and the speech of the game also came across rather relaxed and fun to read as well, which is something I really enjoyed. While the writing was well done, Arietta's spirit sidekick, Arco in particular, loves to talk a little too much, which did hurt the flow and pacing of the game a bit. The boss battles are well done and I feel like this is where the combat shines. It gave me a very nostalgic feel as I fought larger Roma bosses and would count through analysing their move patterns to find a time when it would open up for me to be able to fight back. The growth comes from the different bosses as you fight, and Arco stops the gameplay to give you the upgrades to your battle techniques before it is required, making the boss encounters much more enjoyable. Arietta can also level up her health by collecting loot from the Romers to fill up your Roma cores. Once it is full, you can transform it into one heart piece. The game is extremely short and can be finished within a four hour setting. I felt that even though the shortness of the game, I found there was a lot of interesting story given and you were able to learn a fair bit about our characters involved. Mum and Dad seemed to lack character design due to their limited scenes in the game and Grandma's scene was very short, which I found strange given how important her relationship was with what the characters were saying when they were driving to Grandma's house. Overall, Arietta is a beautifully fleshed out game for the length that it is and the characterization of the main characters is done very well. The combat is simple to use and learn and the challenge is strong enough to have you satisfied with your success without having you unable to complete the battle due to it being too hard. You play as Arietta, a 13 year old girl who has a spirit visit her and asks for her assistance to save the island and spirit world from roamers. The pixel art is really well done in moments, unfortunately the forests start to look all the same and it can be a bit easy to get lost in them. There are some places which stand out such as Minerva's cabin and the roamers are distinctly colourful against the backdrops. The music complements the story and game well and changes based on what is happening within the game as well. It was relaxing and enjoyable to listen to throughout the game. The game is simple to master. You hack and slash while you're pressing keys to ensure you block and attack creatures and monsters at the right time. There was a little bit of annoyance of mine when I would attack and the sword would go in a different direction due to the way Arietta was facing, but this was only a minor issue. The characters were a lot of fun to get to know. The characterization is not exceptionally deep, which I think is mainly due to the game's length, 
but the characters I met were really entertainingly written. One character in particular, Gib, was really funny to read with his gruff nature and was very relatable. There are options to play on extreme mode and many different achievements that would require the game to be played again in harder modes. Other than that, there isn't much replay value. I give it 3 out of 5 howls.